Hi everyone, happy Sunday. Welcome back to my channel. Hi everyone, happy Sunday. Welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you are having a wonderful week and weekend so far. I've been away for the past few weeks and uh, I apologize for that and thank all of you for sticking around and being patient for me while I took a little break just for my mental health and also the kids were sick again. So that took up least half of October and then we were trying to play catch up the rest of the month and also just trying to enjoy ourselves with some festive activities at least, which we were able to do thankfully. So I'm really, really happy to be back excited for the Christmas season which is coming up and in celebration of that I have also switched my candle so instead of the pumpkin spice one that I had going since I think August <laughs> I now have my little aspen pine which is so good it just smells like Christmas at home and it's just so good I got this one from Michaels as well and I my mom actually growing up she had like a similar scent to this Except instead of a candle, it was like one of those like plug-ins with like that little like mesh material that was like soaked in like that kind of like oil. And you we had it plugged into the wall and I guess it warmed up and like spread the scent around the room. So this scent just brings back a lot of childhood memories for me. So that makes it extra special. So today what I'm going to be doing is doing a flip through of all of my October kits. Up until this week, I was about five weeks behind. And I finally got cut up and I'm super, super excited to show you how everything turned out. I also have my November cover on, which is really, really pretty. And I wasn't really sure how it was going to go with these coil colors, but I think it looks really pretty. And I'm really, really happy with how this coil is turning out this year. I also have one of my favorite planner bands on that says Keep Calm and Plan On from Nani's Custom Creations which is extremely fitting because like I said, I was so behind. So this is just to remind me to just relax, enjoy the process and not stress out too much about it or stress out too much about life either. We are still waiting. Uh, a couple of you have asked if we've heard back from my daughter's results, which was really sweet. We haven't yet, but I'm expecting to hear back from her doctor any day now because it has been about four weeks and that's how long she said those results will take. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much to everybody who has sent sweet messages, prayers, kind words, and support. It means the world to us, and I really appreciate it. So I'm just going to flip to where I was, which is October, and I'm just going to move this over here. I already have my little winter charm and this is from my shop bambi's treasure trove which i will also link a link for down below and usually it's actually snowing by now last year it was snowing on halloween but this year has been abnormally warm like it was 20 degrees last week and it's like the first week of november so it's really really weird I, it's not as humid as it is in the summer so i can actually enjoy it which is nice but i am ready for a little bit of snow ready for a winter wonderland and some christmas snow which hopefully we will get this year so the first page kind of like that starts the month is these like little dashboard pages and monthly calendar. And for this month, I did a currently page because I hadn't done one of those in a little while. And I just had little notes here for myself so that I remember where everything is from. So this top washi here, which is super cute and really matches the color theme of this spread is from Amazon. And then I just paired it with a solid, I like solid, it's glittery, uh, purple washi from Michaels. But I didn't want to do two patterns because I didn't want it to be too busy. And I uh, just wanted to just give the purple a moment, which I really, really, really love. And then the rest of the spread is a little bit of a mix. So these deco stickers, like this beautiful style, is from uh, Katka. Korea planner which again I will leave down below and I use her kits from time to time and I enjoy uh, her artwork and her style and in this case I really really love the colors as well and then some of the other stickers that I have like these little skeletons pumpkins and like other like little deco the tree and this uh, little bat are from the happy planner and, and that's just from an old fall sticker book that I got. Uh, this one I've had for a couple years. I don't know if they still make this or if they have a new one, but 
this is the one that I used it from and it was from this page in there that I took these from. So I was really happy to have this sticker book on hand because I feel like the deco kind of like matched the theme really well. And then the other Happy Planner book that I had that I recommend everybody have if you guys don't have it already are their colorful boxes. I use these for everything and I've gone through so many and I'm actually due for another one this year. So that actually reminds me that I have to reorder it. And I use these for just regular spreads. I use them for my currently spreads for the little boxes that tell me like what I was doing that month. And I just think it's a really good like basic sticker book to have in your inventory. And then the other two, like this little cat here is super cute. And this little be a ghoul <laughs> are from the dollar store. My daughter was so kind as to <laughs> share two of her stickers when we were making our spreads together, which I thought was really nice. And I gave her a couple of mine as well. So it was a fun afternoon. And like I said, just making memories. What we've, what I've actually been doing this month is I've been rereading fourth wing to, or the Imperian seasons. Um, cause I have fourth wing and also iron flame that I'm trying to get through before January when the third book Onyx Storm is released. I've already pre-ordered it and I am super, super excited. So I am enjoying reading that a second time through because I'd only read them each once and it was just so much to take in and I see things differently the second time. I don't want to say too much more without giving anything away, but if you've only read this once, I would definitely recommend rereading it again uh, for a bit of a different, deeper experience. And then what I was looking forward to most this month or well, last month, October was Halloween and everything to do with that. So thankfully we were all healthy in time to enjoy it. Listening, um, I had a whole bunch and there are even more, <laughs> but I just put like our top, like these are the ones that we had on repeat, like almost the whole month, which was like Thriller, obviously it's a classic, Ghostbusters, um, Beetlejuice music from the first and the second movie, which we finally saw and actually really liked. Um, so that was really a, a fun night with the kids. The Hocus Pocus soundtrack and Monster Mash, which is one of our favorites. So we have listened to that one all the time. And then how I was feeling last month was stressed. Things are a lot better now. We've had a lot of things resolved and we're feeling better. And it's just going into the holiday season. It's just easier to focus on a lot more positive things. But until we get her results back, I'm still a little bit on edge and just trying my best to keep it together until we find out what's going on. <laughs> The new show that we started watching is The Blacklist, which is absolutely amazing and we are completely obsessed with. We blow through like at least three episodes a night, which for us is a really big deal, especially since usually I can hardly get through like half an episode, <laughs> but I'm just, it is so good and so captivating. Um, if you haven't seen this yet, I definitely, definitely recommend watching it. It is amazing. And we have also started watching the second season of The Lioness, which we also enjoy. And we're also going to be starting the next season of Arcane as well this weekend, which I am super, super excited for and cannot wait. So this one's probably going to have to go on hold for a couple of days while we go through those. And then I've just been enjoying the weather. Uh, like I said, it's a lot more mild and warm than it's been in previous years, but I don't mind because we haven't had the humidity. So it's also delayed like the leaf changing, which is gorgeous. So usually we get like a really intense cold snap, the leaves change colors and like fall down within like a week or like two weeks. But because it was so warm, not only were they delayed in changing colors, but it has taken them a lot longer to change colors, which means that we get to actually enjoy a nice full fall without being rushed. And I am just, I'm loving it. So definitely overall um, a good month even though it got off to a little bit of a rough start. The next kit in keeping with the purpley theme which is what I was really feeling last month is a beautiful monthly kit from the Planner Shack and I have been really loving her monthly kits for the last little while so I think I've already pre-bought them up until January and actually got a couple of weekly kits as well so Definitely check her out if you haven't already. And I will leave all her information down below. 
And this is kind of the theme that I chose for this month, which was like, like a spooky, kind of like a romantic gothic theme, which is so pretty. It's just, it, oh, it just reminds me of like vampires and Van Helsing and like mystery. And I just, I just love it. It's got everything that I adore. It's got books, candles, got a little feeling of mystery. Like, I just feel like you could just do like part of like a haunted mansion or something like that, which is just really cool. And of course, like a little lantern and the books. Look at the detailing of this artwork. This is so pretty. And like the little gold, little accents in here too, just really pretty. And then I just did the uh, October in like a little silver just because it just reminded me of like kind of like nighttime and I didn't want anything like like the gold like too bold here because I still wanted to like enjoy the scenery um so I didn't want it to take away too much from that but I did want a little bit of shine also silver kind of reminds me of like ghosts and spirits and mist and that sort of thing which kind of comes to mind when you think of these scenes so I'm really happy with my decision to use the silver and then I also purchased her uh, note and dashboard kit, which I laid down here and I'm going to be filling out in the next week or so as part of my last part of my catch up. Now that everything is laid down, I'm going to be going through and um, copying all the notes over from like my daily do and that sort of thing into my memory planner. And uh, in this area, usually I keep track of like what I had to do what I had to buy, where I had to go, and very important things like appointments to remember. So I am going to be setting that up in this section as well. And then on this side, as you saw, uh, she has like a habit section already laid out. So I'll be keeping track of like my water, my workouts, my walk, and then uh, my monthly wish list, a couple little random notes, quote, which I like to keep here, a little motivational quote for the month. And then we get into the kits. So if you watched my fall like sticker haul video, you'll kind of remember some of these kits and you will remember how excited I was to purchase them and use them. Well, I have been waiting for months and the time has finally come and it was definitely worth the wait. So the first kit that I did, of course, I had to start off the month with one of my favorite shows of all time which is Bucky and I have been waiting <laughs> for a shop to release this kit for like 10 years so I literally almost cried when I saw this artwork created and this kit picked up by Pink Planner Shop. Super super obsessed with this. It's almost bittersweet um, because it's like I've been waiting for so long. I finally got it, waited some more, laid it down, and I'm like, aw, like it's done. <laughs> so it's a little bit bittersweet, but I'm still really, really happy and really enjoyed laying it down. Because I loved all of the artwork so much and couldn't decide which ones to leave out, I actually made myself a couple little, um, like peekaboo boxes or little, little flip boxes. So for the Scoobies, I put them together here with Giles because they're always working together. And then I also put the library oh, underneath because that's where for a lot of the show that uh, their meetings and adventures take place. And then again, there was like uh, a double box for this. So you can get the full like library with the altar or you can get the full library just as it is. But I decided to do one of each because it was used for both. And I just thought that that was kind of like a fun, like a different flip to see both different sides of the library. So I made those. And then on this side in the cemetery, I just put Buffy by herself. She does have stickers with her and Angel and her and Spike. But because I loved both relationships and I couldn't really pick which one and she she does kind of end up alone um, and is alone for a lot of her journey of like self-growth and like just becoming a woman and, and a slayer and everything that has to do with those I wanted to do one of her alone as well 
because that is a theme that they deal with in the show a lot. So that's why I chose to do her alone. It also reminds me of kind of like the musical episode when she was like walking through the graveyard and singing. Absolutely love that she included this quote. This is one of my favorite episodes. I love Spike. He's the best. And this one as well. <laughs> if you've seen the show, you know so many amazing things. Like she just included so much that made the show the show. I love that she even included like an old phone <laughs> because that's how old the phone this show was. And that is like literally one of the first phones I ever had. So very nostalgic in a lot of different ways. For the date covers, I chose these silver ones from Erin Condren because there are some like gray and silver tones and it kind of reminds me too of like the cross necklace that uh, Angel gave her and it's just, I think it complements the kit really well. Uh, this little weekend sticker is from Scribble Prince Co. And then this kind of like gothic-y type washi in the middle is from Michaels. And I added this one to the kit. It didn't come with it. These two did though, however. And there were a couple other options that you could choose from as well. Then if I wasn't excited enough for the Buffy release, I was also super thrilled <laughs> when I found out that the same two shops were also going to be releasing Vampire Diaries themed kit, which was another one of my favorite shows and I really loved as well. So this one is also from Pink Planner Shop and the date covers from this one are from Staples from their planning, planning section. And uh, this washi is from, again, Michaels and didn't come with the kit. But I do like kind of like the kind of oldish, like, style of this. I think it fits like some of the deco and then just the style of like, again, their old house and mansion. Absolutely love this scene. Are you team Damon or Stefan? I, I'd be curious to know. And then also same thing for Buffy. Are you guys team Angel, team Spike? Be really, really, really curious to see um, who is your favorite relationship. And then again, here she has a lot of really great artwork related to the show. She has a mystic grill. She has her daylight rings and their drinks, the steak, Mystic Falls, Alina's house, the three girls, Bonnie and Caroline who are best friends. I also really really loved Klaus and did watch the originals after this so I did I did really think that Caroline was good for him and they brought out the best in each other. I'm really happy that she included a picture of this as well. And then just uh, just some extra like deco of like the town and her necklace. And then of course I wanted to do one of the brothers as well. I was debating making this like a flip box, but it was just more like couple kind of options. So there are a lot of couple options with this one, which is really cool. There is one with Stefan and Elena. There's one actually with Damon and Bonnie, which I did want to include as well because I really like their friendship. And then there's one of these all separately. So there's like a separate Elena, a separate Caroline, a separate Damon, Caroline, and Bonnie. But I just, I kind of liked how they were together and I could actually include more um, with less stickers. So that's another reason why I decided to do it that way. But if you like different relationships in the show, I really, really love how many different options she included in this kit. And if she ever releases an originals kit, I am definitely going to get that one as well. The next week I took a little break from the spooky spreads as I do every year for the week of Thanksgiving and I did a really cute little farm kit because we do typically go to the farm in the middle of October, which we did do right before everybody got sick. And we pick our pumpkins, we enjoy some treats. I'm obsessed with the with butter tarts and I love getting them fresh every year. I really, really look forward to that. And uh, my husband also enjoyed like some apple fritters and cinnamon buns and of course some hot pumpkin spice and apple cider as well. And I just, I just really love this kit. This is such a fall kit. I love the warm, soft colors. I love the scenery, which is pretty much what our fall was like. Pumpkin spice, treats, layers, and boots, which are one of my favorite fall accessories to wear. We also did our pumpkins. Uh, this little yellow washi is from Michaels. The other ones came with the kit. And the gold 
Date Dots are from Erin Condren. And this kit's from Pink Planner Shop. I don't know if I mentioned that yet. I just got super excited. Again, really, really, really loving how the coils are matching these colors. And I'm excited to see them with my Christmas kits as well because I have a feeling that they're going to look awesome. And then this is the second page. This is like a little wheelbarrow, which we use because the pumpkins are really heavy <laughs> to wheel them to the front to pave them. And a barn, which is which where we were, they actually had uh, two different barns. One, they had like tables and stuff set up so we could eat and drink uh, inside. And the second one was like a hay pit. And you can like crawl around on the hay and run and jump on there. So the kids had a blast with that. And they also went to the corn maze as well. And am I the only person who thinks this looks a little bit like Emily Clark from Game of Thrones with her brown hair? No? Okay, maybe it's just me. <laughs> Um, but then although I wasn't wearing any sweaters in October because it was so hot, like I said, I have been wearing them the past week because it's been freezing. There is no in between here in Canada. <laughs> it's either really, really hot or really, really cold. So we just have pretty much really, really long summers and really, really long winters, but that's okay. Christmas, um, and the holiday season makes us forget about the cold for a little while, at least until January. And then from there, it can be anywhere from three to five months um, more of winter depending on the year. So hopefully there'll be a shorter winter this year. Although now with the really late start, I'm not sure if that's going to be the case. And then the last week of October, I chose this adorable like drive-in Frankenstein Van Helsing kit from Pansy Prince, which I am absolutely just I just adore, I really adore this kit so much. Um, I love the artwork, I love the style, I just love the colors, like this kit is just so much fun. And I'm so, so happy that I found it. We love to go to the drive-in too, and all of us love like vampires and zombies. Even now, like Disney had put out a couple of those, we're watching those with the kids, and this kind of reminds me of that as well. And it's just so cute. <laughs> full moon diner like how adorable is that that is just oh so cute and i'm just obsessed with this and then the little drive-in with like the little <laughs> bloody hands on the back which is a nice little touch and then the spooky snacks and treats which actually look pretty good except for the eyeball i have a thing i don't like anything to do with eyeballs it makes me very stressed out um, I can't even barely put my own eye drops in. I'm not quite as bad as Monica is from Friends and my husband doesn't have to hold me down, but I really, really have to psych myself up to do it. Um, and that's why I don't wear contacts or anything like that as well. Love these little like beauty, this little beauty box as well. And this is like kind of like a 50s vibe with like the outfits and the clothes, which is so much fun in the drive-in theater. Which is cute. And then I did like a, something a little bit different this week um, because I just was having so much fun and I really, really liked the colors. I ended up using the weekend banner, which I really like. I haven't done like a, one of those weekend banners myself in a really, really long time. And I definitely want to try to do one when I have a little bit more time. But in the meantime, uh, this one kind of satisfied my desire for it this week. Love this, like, <laughs> again, little 50s vibe. With some grease lightning feels over here. The jukebox, which we used to love to listen to when I was younger. And then some, like, pogos and Twizzlers, which we love to eat. I like how she included lots of different types of girls and boys. Different styles and, like, the old movie reels. It's just... Oh, this kit just like got vintage retro spooky vibes and I am all about it and I had so much fun with this and I'm just loving it. I also just realized this is this was not the very last week of October either. <laughs> oh my god you guys I've been away for a month and I've forgotten everything. Oh my goodness okay so this only went to the 27th so that means that I have to still do <laughs> this week as well so I am gonna go do that and then I'll be back all right guys so I have finished the last spread for October 
officially now. <laughs> and this is the kit that I had chosen. I actually picked this kit up last Halloween, but because I picked up way too many, um, <laughs> I had to save a couple for this year. And then when this year rolled around, a second shop picked it up and I ended up buying it again just because I really, really loved the artwork and the colors. I just thought it was really cute and really fun. And I liked how both shops put together different boxes, which gave me like a lot more stickers to work with. So the two shops that I ended up buying this, these kits from were Pink Planner Shop and The Planner Shack. I couldn't tell you which one is which at this point, but they're, they were very, very similar and equally cute. So this one was called Pretty Halloween. And I love how it's like kind of like a little party theme. And they got like their little costumes and sugar cookies. And it's just a fun take on Halloween. Last year, I just, I did a lot of like really spooky themed ones like vampires and the haunted mansions. And this theme just didn't really fit. But this year, I felt like it did, especially with like the kind of fun vintage vibe of this one. Um, so I felt like this one was more like kind of like followed the flow, if that makes any sense while still kind of like standing on its own. Uh, I did add a little bit of hollow just to make it a little extra fun. This one reminds me of kind of like bubbles, like the little bubble sound in the song Monster Mash and the bubbles of a cauldron. So that's why I kind of chose this washi. And then I also did like a hollow day cover as well to kind of match that and just make it a little extra fun, especially cause it's like kind of like a party theme and so we did have like a Halloween party at home. We had like a black light and music and candy. And we had some games. Like we have like a spooky, like Halloween themed twister mat. Uh, so we were playing some games as well, which was really fun. This week was like the first week in all of October that we were all healthy at the same time, which was amazing. And we were really able to enjoy this week to the fullest. So that's it for today guys. I hope that you enjoyed seeing all of my October sticker kits and I hope you enjoyed your Halloween and fall festivities as well. Thank you so much again for your support. Welcome to all the new subscribers that have come on board these past few weeks. I'm hoping to start releasing regular videos again now that things have kind of settled down and I'm looking forward to the rest of the holiday season. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. And I'll see you guys next weekend. Bye.